Hello and welcome to Warhammer Wednesday. This week's video I'll be reviewing the whole of the Space Marine Death Watch Force, all their new releases uh, in one video rather than you having to trawl through all the other videos and look at separate model reviews. One thing to note is I've got all the new releases right here. All the vehicles such as the Razorback, Rhino, the, the new Land Raider which is looks something similar to that and the Terminator um, box set they're all just repackaged uh, versions of existing box sets but with uh, an extra sprue that has a load of Death Watch um, shoulder pads in and a couple of these um, Death Watch symbols and then of course they've just painted them the Death Watch colours I apologise it's raining can't really do much about that I'm trying my hardest right now there we go good it stopped so I've got all the, the new releases here um, everything from back in February March time they released the Overkill, Death Watch Overkill box set that had the, the Tyranid hybrids in with uh, the little mutations of um, Imperial citizens turning into sort of gene stealers and that sort of really paved the way Every everything from Cassius without a sort of melted face to some really cool looking models um, you know like a Salamander's um, Terminator with a heavy flamer and a melter gun on the power fist just just incredible looking models you couldn't pose them the way you wanted um, but that was fine and now you can get that set uh, separate and then in August you've had these this wave of a new release starting with the box set that had the Harlequins in um, a venerable dreadnought a box of Vanguard Artemis this guy here very very decent model and a box of veterans as well and then the codex came out a week later and a week after that you got the watchmaster lovely lovely model lots of detail and quite cheap too when you consider that they're trying to push Khan the betrayer for 22 pounds and I actually prefer that model and um, this watchmaster to that and I think that model was like seven pound cheaper it's just such a huge difference in sort of like the size of the model either way it's quite an expensive model um, in my mind and then you get the lovely Corvus Black Star which is one of the most um, beautiful sort of flyers that Games Workshop have produced in my opinion even though physics wise <laughs> it's difficult to believe that 12 Space Marines can fit in there but you don't have to go very far with sort of like a Rhino where that complication presents itself once more. So basically if you really like Space Marines um, and you like the Codex and uh, you want a force that um, isn't directly against heretics or demons such as Grey Knights are that have you know you can have an army of Terminators if you really want and you want an army that is purely against Xenos against the alien this is the force for you if you go up against a lot of Orcs or Eldar or Tyranids even Necrons maybe this is it you can just equip your army your kill teams how you wish for any sort of eventual scenario they're pretty much like Stern Guard really but with these kill team formations and a few few units that they only they've got access to normally with Stern Guard they've all got the bolt guns with special ammunition that's about it with these guys they've normally got uh, a bolt gun with the special ammunition and you can have them all with power swords power maces um, you name it they've got some really cool uh, weapons such as the Xenophase sword. The frag cannon uh, has had a bit of a rules overhaul and uh, at close range it's basically a las cannon um, which is great. Shotguns have uh, they found some ammunition for them some different ammunition and they're very decent with the shred rule and also they've sort of done an aliens and um, managed to strap on a heavy bolter onto a heavy flamer um, and make the heavy bolter assault three so why can't they just make heavy bolters uh, assault three for normal space marines I do not know but this is clearly uh, weighs more than a heavy bolter but that's that's just the the sort of specialist equipment that these guys have access to the best in the Imperium with their Mark 8 armor and these um, 
weapons that you're not really going to find anywhere else in um, in other chapters. Yeah, you get specialist uh, weapons like the gauntlet mounted storm bolters and the and the nemesis weapons that the Grey Knights have, but you're not really going to find frag cannons in your normal Space Marine army. Well, not unless they sort of introduce them. So the main co sort of core set that you're going to be looking at with the Death Watch army, I mean, it's up to you. You can you if you haven't got a Space Marine army already, um, then yes, it probably is worth you getting the the Terminator Captain or just the normal normal Captain if you don't have one already. However, if you want to start from scratch, the Watchmaster is absolutely such a lovely model. Uh, there's no reason why you just can't proxy him as a as a captain. Likewise, if you were to get the the set, you could get you could have Artemis proxy as a as a normal captain. This is where my sort of the discrepancies sort of creep in. In that, as I said in the Codex review, it's a really nice book, but it is missing the Cassius Kill Team in it. They are Death Watch. Um, it would have been nice if they had their own part to play in the actual codex for them. As it stands, the only way to really use them in a 40k game is to have access to a computer, print out their rules, and, and use them sort of separately. And then likewise, with Artemis and his uh, specific squad's uh, kill teams, um, and the specific Dreadnought, and the specific Vanguard um, sort of squad, uh, the only way to use them is to get that box set and you know take along those rules with you. You can't just take this book to a game where you want to use um, a Death Watch Force, Cassius, and Artemis. You have to use you have to take sort of like three three different sets of rules, which is a bit of a shame. And I would have there's no reason why they couldn't have um, been in the in the codex to give you that full wholesome. Um, codex that has everything in it but the main sort of box set that you're going to be getting if you're going to start a, an army um, other than like a captain or watchmaster is is probably one of these which is the death watch kill team if you haven't got the death mass box set you'll probably be getting one of these because it's got both the sprues in here there's you get two sprues it's all new items so you get your your mark 8 armor set uh, you get all the specific weapons such as the inferno the Infernus Heavy Bolter, your Heavy Thunder Hammers, and your Frag Cannons. And then with this box set, if you bought another box of normal 10 Space Marines, which would probably actually cost you more than <laughs> more than this box set, which is a bit annoying, then you could make another, I think you could probably make another five, because I found five Space Marines that I had lying around, and I got this set, and I was able to make five more. That's what you're going to be basing your, your sort of force around, one of these. And then, of course, if you really like the flyer, you can go for the Corvus Black Star and then kit it out and mod it how you wish. You can magnetise it and change the weapons and, and all the rest of it. So there's no reason why you couldn't get a captain, a squad and a, and a Corvus and have that as your little Xenos um, fighting team. Obviously, you're going to be quite limited um, having five uh, Death Watch because these new sprues, they only have sort of one frag cannon, one infernus heavy bolter, uh, a couple of shotguns, um, but plenty of power weapons. So it's really up to you how you want to kit that out if you've only got five. But obviously if you've got 10 or 15, you'll have a lot more flexibility in your force. Then there are other bikes. If you wanted to add more bikes into the force, you've, you've got that option too. In summary, I think it's a really good uh, release. I think that they could have uh, improved a few things, especially with adding all the rules in the codex um, and having a few unique, few more unique box sets. Um, you know, these are obviously hugely popular. They wouldn't have had this, this big release and things for them. Whether they are as popular or more popular than sort of Blood Angels or Dark Angels, I'm not quite sure. But what I do know is everybody that has a normal Space Marine army would be very, very interested in getting a small force you know, to join them. Like I've got Grey Knights for my Space Marine Army, I've also got this, you know, this Death Watch Force. And if they had have brought out a specific um, Vanguard set or Terminator set, I would have definitely been been more interested to pick one or two of those boxes up. But as it stands, to sort of miss the boat a little bit with those. Um, they could have made a, a couple of new fantastic sprues that had this Melter Gun on Power Fist. Um, they include it as an option in the codex, but yet they don't have a model for it. 
um, and they even include they've even gone they've even spent money talking about the special rules and things for it as well um, and to not have that in in the force or that you can just go out and buy just seems really really odd and it doesn't seem like they've given death watch as much justice as sort of gray knights um, I'm not just I'm not talking about the codex I'm talking about the models gray knights they've got uh, like a a normal sort of box set of five I think it's a similar price to the veterans actually um, that you can make I think three different types of squads in it a strike squad a purifier squad and an interceptor squad all in this one one little box set albeit all the vehicles are exactly the same but just you know painted sort of silver uh, likewise for the for the dreadnought so the death watch does have one up for that but they've got their own specific terminator box set that they that you can make two different sets of terminator squads either the normal terminators um or the paladins um, now fair enough they don't have a specific um flyer but they also have uh you know a nemesis dread knight and they do have a couple of special characters that you can just go out and and get individually um whereas you can't just go out and get artemis well at the moment um, but you can go out and get stern and crow and drago don't know why you'd want to get him <laughs> um but yeah you, you get my my point i just think that um if they'd have paid as much sort of fan service to to the death watch i'm not sure what's your opinion um put it put it in the comments um do you think that they've paid enough or too little attention to the death watch um than compared to say gray knights um do you think more people are more interested in in death watch armies uh, fighting against Xenos um, than Grey Knights. I mean, in a way, Grey Knights are very, very specific against Chaos and all the Chaos factions and demons. Um, but Death Watch, they can be against Tau, Necrons, Tyranids, Eldar, Dark Eldar, Orcs. They've got just so many more enemies. Um, well, sorry, variety in enemies. Number-wise, they probably have actually more, more enemies when you take into account all the, the high fleets of the Tyranids. But still, do you think people are more interested in Death Watch uh, than Grey Knights and interested in adding a force to their, their existing Space Marine army? It'd be interesting to, to hear your comments. Anyway, that's it from me. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully you've found it um, helpful in helping you start your uh, Death Watch army and a uh, full look at all the, the models and the new releases. I try and do this when there's been a big army release that I've bought all of the new, new models for. I did it with Space Marines uh, a few years ago. Um, I did it with Blood Angels. I would have liked to have done it for Eldar when Eldar, but I think I bought the Codex and I didn't really buy any of the new models. Yeah, so I hope you found this video useful. Thank you ever so much for watching today. The Emperor Protects.